Welcome to another week of Heart to Heart, Rendered Hearts edition. We are still on our series called Tis the Season. And so this week we're continuing on and the scripture focus is Luke 1, 67 to 80. And the scripture reads as follows. His father, Zachariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come to his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant, David. As he said through his holy prophets of long ago, salvation from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant the oath he swore to our father Abraham to rescue us from the land, from the hand of our enemies and to enable us to serve him without fail in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, my child, will be called a prophet of the most high for you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him to give his people the knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins because of the tender mercy of our God by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the path of peace and the child grew and became strong in spirit and he lived in the wilderness until he until he appeared publicly to Israel. This is the highlight of Zechariah's song. So Zechariah is the father of John, who we know as John, John the Baptist. And after his birth, Zechariah became filled with the Holy Spirit and began to prophesy. So two, one of the major focuses of this section of scripture and this song that Zachariah sang is salvation. But before that, I just want to make just a little nugget here about parenting. Parenting. Now, I'm not a parent, but this shows us the importance of the scripture. You have to live it. Um, this shows us how important it is for a parent to be in a posture that is in alignment with heaven so that they can speak life over their children from birth and not just speak life but speak that which is the will of God for their child and that's exactly what Zachariah did he spoke beforehand over his child who he was to be in the earth and what his responsibility was in the earth and for many reasons that's important as well as for the fact that you will be able to navigate help to navigate your child through life and towards the destination that um, God has for him or her through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit but back to Two things that I want to highlight. There is salvation um, and under the scope of salvation, the scripture <clears throat> highlights freedom and evangelism. And in verse 74, it says it enabled, it will enable us to serve him without fail. So you have access to freedom freedom through salvation and one of the definitions well two definitions of freedom is that it's the power or right to act speak or think as one wants now for salvation and the freedom through salvation it's the power to or right to act speak or think according to the will of God, right? He empowers you for rightful thinking, rightful speaking, and rightful representation of him. 
and also freedom is the state of not being in prison or enslaved so we were bought with a price and that price has afforded us freedom from sin we no longer have to be enslaved to sin or slaves to sin we have the right to freedom through forgiveness and through the work of salvation so that's one thing and the second thing that um the scripture shows is that john shows us how important evangelism is to god like we we have been sent here for that purpose to display god on earth let your kingdom come let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven and we are to be conduits of the will of god being done in the earth and heaven coming to earth and so it's our responsibility just as john did then now to be evangelists and to share that there is still the work of salvation still exists access to freedom still exists forgiveness of sin is still a thing <laughs> we can still be set free we don't have to be slave and slaves or we don't have to be born in bondage or live in bondage any longer i love the recurrence of um events in scripture just as john did back then we have responsibility to do now one we have access to salvation and that salvation grants us freedom and the responsibility also behind that salvation is that we are to help expand and build the body of christ through evangelism and to prepare for the coming of jesus right not just to prepare but to expand the kingdom of god here on earth to show how heaven is still real today to show how god is still real today we are to be conduits and vessels in the earth today so that his kingdom come his will can be done in earth as it is in heaven and so this is just an encouragement to become more aware of the access to freedom that you have the access that that has been bought for you a long time ago the work of the cross that brought forth salvation the gift of salvation as well as our responsibility as kingdom citizens to evangelize and share that good news the good news that jesus lives the good news that he died for all of our sins the good news that you too or someone else can also be free just as you are living in freedom so tis the season and i encourage all of us as well as myself to use this season to realize the magnitude of your freedom and also be intentional about encouraging and bringing someone else to the knowledge of christ so that they too can experience that freedom so that they too can have access to eternal life so that they too can have access to life now and life more abundantly that they have been promised a long time ago so salvation 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 souls are being lost souls are being lost today right before our eyes and there is this thing that is happening where we are becoming nonchalant about lives being lost and lie on and that person not knowing christ it's it's being watered down now and so this is encouragement again for all of us to be more intentional about sharing the good news of the gospel of jesus christ so let us pray father i thank you for your word and for your reminder thank you for the salvation that you have freely given us thank you for the freedom that we have access to that we can serve without fear that we can worship you without fear 
that we can share your good news and you be glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are empowering us right now to be bold, to go forth throughout the journey of our lives, not just being selfish, um, not being selfish, but being bold enough to share the gospel of the work of the cross so that someone else may begin and come into experiencing life with you. We thank you that you are always welcoming us with open arms to come to you asking for forgiveness for our sins and waiting for us to begin to journey with you. May someone else journey with you because of our dedication to share the gospel of the good news of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have given you have given us enough and are about is about to give us boldness, strength to go forth on this journey with you. In Jesus' name, amen.